What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Darius Fishing. Today's video is not sponsored by Truly, but we are gonna be drinking them because today is going to be quite the adventure. That's solid. I've never had this before. Strawberry lemonade, that's good. So, as y'all saw in the last video, we did the, the intro to our abandoned lake house. We're super excited about this place. Today's actually the same day that we filmed that video before, but we have uh, a case of these, a case of ultras, and now our goal is to, for me and Brandon, who's the, uh, the man that cuts his pennies in half to save money, uh, we're going to figure out a way to move this boat dock that I bought for $1,000 from an old lady named Pat. Uh, we're gonna, oh, Hannah's gonna help too. She just got her bikini on, she's looking hot. So uh, she, uh, we're gonna figure out how to move this boat dock. I've never moved a boat dock before. We gotta move it down probably 200 yards, maybe 300 yards. All we have is kayaks, but thankfully one of them has a troll motor, so we're gonna figure out how to do that. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of these new home update, renovation type videos. We have a lot of stuff going on. In a little amount of time, we're gonna do at least one video a week just on this home renovation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I already broke it up. I'm gonna chug this guy. We might shotgun a beer get the day started, and we'll see you guys uh, whatever we do next in just a second. All right, we're going to see Miss Pat. She's the one with the dog. Brandon's got the money because he's such a penny pincher. He had to count the money before we go to Miss Pat. Make sure we don't overpay her. There's the dock over there. That is the mission for today, is moving that. Not the first one, Brandon, the second one. Oh, we're back. We're a little earlier than we thought we were. So we why are you <laughs> Well, we've got, I've got a YouTube channel and we film everything. And so what part of us moving to the lake is just making fun videos of whatever we do. But, yeah. but this is tripod. <laughs> Yeah, right. she said that's trouble. So cute. We won't. We won't. Hi. You can film the dog. Oh. <laughs> okay, we won't post it. Um, but I'm telling you, a monkey wrench, or even just a regular wrench. Yeah. So the dock that Brandon's on, we bought for one thousand dollars from Miss Pat. She's a sweetheart. You heard her voice earlier, but we weren't allowed to show her face. Maybe Ryan blurred that part out. I don't know. But uh, this dock is a. I feel like Brandon. What would you say? This is a great purchase for a thousand dollars. It's a good purchase for a thousand. Yeah. What, what what out of ten? Like if you, if you were would you have advised me? Yes, you should buy this dock for a thousand. Yeah, seven okay. out of ten. Okay, so this is good buy. Obviously, this is a great structure. We need to put some new wood on top of it. But there's a lot of hardware. There's a lot of uh, rubber that we can just get put back up here. A lot of spider webs. If you ever want to, you know, just play with a spider web, you can. But the next part is going to be the tricky part. We have to unfasten it from the wall, which we don't have the tools for this minute. So we have to unfasten it from the wall. Then after it's unfastened from the wall. We're going to put our kayaks inside this thing and try to pedal it around to our property, which probably is not gonna work out very well. So that's the part that you guys need to stay tuned for. All right, so now this is kind of the tough part. These kayaks weigh five million pounds each. We've got a uh, 100 foot of seven sixteenths inch rope, 100 foot of that, and one carabiner. I probably should've got two carabiners. That, I don't know why I got one, but I got one. All right, Brandon, rip her out. It's everything you need to move a dock. <laughs> yeah, 100 foot of rope and one carabiner. I think it'll be good about right here. Um, we gotta get the other one and we've gotta hopefully get some tools from this random neighbor we got now. I haven't, I haven't quite met him yet, I don't know him all the way. Hopefully he's got some tools. Pushing it, you're, was, you're coming in hot. Yeah, so. I was pushing it straight through the straight <laughs> through the back glass. So how you want to sit back here, buddy? Just hold on to this one so you don't fall off, and it doesn't fall. Off. Yeah, until you go up that hill. No, you're good, dude. You're good. Just try not to fall out. Is he back there? Yeah, Brandon's in the very back. Brandon. 
How's it coming back there, buddy? It's going good. Just holding two kayaks in the back. All right, yeah. well, we're going down a big hill, buddy, so hang on tight. <laughs> Did you make it? I made it. Was that sketchy? <laughs> it was easy. It was super. So I told him it was easy. <laughs> Capsize. Does that sound like bear cans? It did. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> oh my god. Surprise. <laughs> Who put those in my truck? In my boat? What, Avatar left here? If you ever wanted to beat the hell out of somebody, you found the right tool. That's what you would use. <laughs> Brandon, while, while you're doing that, you want me to hand it to go get the kayaks? Dude, yeah. Hey, while you're over there, if the mustache man has another one of these, get it from me. Okay. Oh, I'll come with y'all. Okay. That'd be a good idea, unless you, unless you just want 10 straight minutes. It <laughs> could be 45 minutes. Yeah, I was about to say, probably more than that. It could be 45 straight minutes. All right, this video is not about my Old Town kayak, but I do want to say I have three of them, and they're absolutely the coolest kayaks I've ever had. Um, remember, I showed you guys this video a long time ago. That snapped in, just like that. And then you got to put the battery in and all that stuff. I bought a battery today. It's way too heavy. I hate I hate a heavy battery. Got a lithium one ordered, but lithium batteries are crazy expensive. Perfect. Don't forget to drop the rudder. Take it straight in the middle of that dock and hit the uh, anchor button on the bottom. Okay. That's so cool. Just driving a ghost. Ghost ride the whip. All right. You got three choices. Take your pick. Give me the biggest one you got. All right, probably that one then in your hand. This one? Yeah, if I had to guess. This is a damn lug wrench from his truck. Is it, does it work? Too small? Really? Mm -hmm. I need a monkey wrench. Hold on. I'm going I'm going to Mustache Guy's house. He's on the move. I'm going to go over there and get a monkey wrench from this guy. All right, I'll walk yeah. with you. Come on. All right, guys. Random insert, but I wanted to say again, huge thanks to people at Old Town Kayaks. I'm always going to link them in the description down below. They gave me these three kayaks for me and Hannah to use, Ryan to use, Brandon to use. Whoever wants to use them gets to use these three. That's the Predator, the Topwater, and the Sportsman with the Troll Motor. That's my favorite one. It's a little expensive, but it is absolutely the most fun kayak you can ever have. Back to the video. Is that a pizza box? <laughs> I wish it was. I wish. <laughs> no, first off, you took a long break. I did. I had to take a work call first. Okay, yeah. Then I went and asked a random man with a very nice mustache if he had a socket set I could borrow. He, without any questions or my name, gave me a socket set. That's called Southern Hospitality. It is. What a guy. Ready? Done. So here's what we got going on, guys. Brandon right now is learning how to operate the uh, trolling motor kayak. What we're going to do is Brandon is going to tie off this rope right there to his kayak. And me and Ryan are going to be here for mental support. This has been to turn into bumper carts. Yeah. Moment of truth. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh. Aim the pedal right. Aim the pedal right. Is there a reason we picked me for this? Dude, this, this is acting like an anchor. All right, just keep it on 10, Brandon. Brandon, Where are you going? doing that? You are vain as oh. oh. Okay, oh. Christian Guzman. Brandon, press pause real quick. You press pause? I'm all right, we're on the move. We are on the move. Brandon, I think we're looking good, buddy. Just keep it going. No, oh, hey. Killer. <laughs> oh, oh hey, he's got killer. The pin. Killer. Brandon's in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's way over there. On the Kaya video, you're talking about TikTok. This is a TikTok moment right here. Yeah. This is TikTok worthy. <laughs> How's it going up here? It's going pretty good. I got the hang of this. I'm a pro. All right, so we got Brandon trying to aim us straight towards this concrete pier, which he's doing a great job of. I'm going to have to jump off and pick up the front. The front's not light either, by the way. Oh. Ah. All right, give it a little gas. Give it. Let that fall on you. Keep going. Put that faith in you. Yeah. Woohoo! Hey. Woo! All right, kill it. Oh, we made it. Dude, that's a boat. That's All right, guys. That was definitely a pain in the Uranus. But we got the uh, platform here, or the uh, whatever you want to call this part, the walkway up on this concrete pad. And Brandon used his very very talented skill of driving a troll motor. And limited. And very limited. To get us right here where we need to be. Hannah, a little drunk off Trulies. Anyhow, now we got to uh, tie this rope off to these hooks on the sides right there. 
What's up guys? Um, the end of this video, again, like one of the last ones, doesn't have audio. What happened is the mic broke and we filmed like maybe five or six videos back to back to back to back to back. Like in, in four days, we filmed a ton of videos, five days. And then we haven't, we didn't start editing those videos for like another week or two later. So all the footage that we filmed in those, in that amount of time, all the footage, a lot of it is messed up because of the audio. So um, even some of the ones that are coming up, we still haven't got to the end of the messed up audio yet, which is frustrating. But anyhow, on this video was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, as you can see, we got the boat dock moved. I got it for a thousand dollars from a sweet lady down the road. It was a ton of fun. We drank a little bit. We had cut up a little bit. And at the end of the day, we moved the dock much easier than I thought we were going to. Uh, tied it off to the tree. I don't know where the tree is in this video. Brian is doing the edit, but tied it off to the tree. Uh, you see Brandon running across those kayaks, running the rope through them. I thought that was pretty funny. You lost the slide. <laughs> Dude, you're, you look like Peter Pan. You look like, you're on you look like Peter Pan when they're running over the top of those. Uh, Alligators? You watch Peter Pan? Well, duh. Who didn't watch Peter Pan? I've, I've never seen Peter Pan. What you guys don't know is you probably heard me scream a little bit. The audio cut out. When I put my hands around that gigantic tree, there was millions and millions of ants. Obviously, I wasn't wearing a shirt, so they got all over my chest. They got down in my freaking, my lower unit. There's ants everywhere down there. And uh, yeah, that didn't end up very well for me. I, that's why I ran, jumped out on the water. When I jumped off the dock, my foot slid through the dock. It was just not a very good situation. But we made through. We made it through. Got the boat dock tied up, and I have some really, really cool boat dock stuff coming up. Um, for those of you who don't know, this video was filmed probably two, might be three weeks ago now. So the video you just watched today is. Um, Wednesday, the day that you're seeing this video. So a ton has been done to the house. We have boat dock stuff that's gonna be cool. Like they've completely done a lot to the house now. So please, please be ready for all the videos that are coming up. You guys are gonna love them. I am so thankful for the support we've had so far through this series. Although there's only been one video posted, uh, well two, I guess. Um, it's just had a ton of a ton of good reviews if you don't know what i'm talking about this is a this has been a part of a series of a much longer um, house renovation abandoned lake house renovation so if you missed the first video go back and watch it i'll put it in the link uh, the top of the description or i'll have it linked in the description so you can go watch that but um, anyhow, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. The rest of this series is going to be incredible. So please do me a huge favor. Go smash the subscribe button and make sure you have the notification bell turned on. That way, when I post a video, you're going to get notified of it and you can watch it then or at least be reminded that I have a video up because these home renovation videos might start coming at a different speed than the other ones. They might be coming a little bit faster. They might get two or three a week and um, they're at a little bit random time. So I just want to make sure you guys don't miss it because I know you're enjoying them. But, but anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see all of you on the next one.